What's going on, y'all? This is Masterpiece. You already know what it is, and I'm here with another What Do Vegans Eat? This is a grocery shop, and um, I, got all, I got all my stuff here. So what do we got? Let's just start with the coconuts because it's nature's most ugh, amazing gift to us. The coconut, uh, full of proteins, fats, minerals, electrolytes, everything that's going to keep you charged. You know, it's the most distilled water of any fruit in the world. Um, we got our creminis, cremini mushrooms, vitamin D, great for the nervous system. Oh, get it in you. Get that in you ASAP. Okay, if you don't like it, add it to your shakes. It'll make it creamy. Um, these are pitahayas. Uh, they're, they're a cousin of the ja dragon fruit. I don't know how original the dragon fruit is. It looks a little bit spectacular to me. These look a little bit more natural to me, just with everything from the way it's packaged to the way it looks, um, and to the uniformity of them all. They're not all the same. Whereas dragon fruits, they kind of tend to be. So I don't know. I, I, but anyways, fruits are fruit. It's still good for you. It's still better than meat or dairy. Uh, uh, this is a durian. Of course, you know what a durian fruit is. Come on now. It's nice. It's big. It's spiky. It's stinky with a pleasant aroma. You know, but it, it is odorous, but it's a pleasant one. Um, and you know what? This is really great to get the bowels moving. It's a great digestive. My daughter loves this. She loves it. And um, whenever she has it, within 20 minutes, she's taking a really big poop. So that's really good to keep your child's uh, digestive tract clean. And we know if you keep a clean colon, you keep a clean mind. Um, $2.99 for over for about nine avocados nine avocados for 29 where else can you get that in canada so what we're going to do we're, we're going to take this oh these are pretty firm we're going to take this and we're going to make a huge guacamole huge guacamole my my baby loves guacamole uh loves avocados uh 80 percent fat um mad protein mad iron uh you know t when you eat this it's not like it's got more concentration than other things. It's just that it's just so it's such a pure form of the minerals and the proteins, right? You know, with with meat you're getting putrefaction. With milk you're getting ugh, I don't even want to say it, but blood and pus. There I said it. Okay. But that not to mention hormones and steroids and all that. Um yeah, this is very clean, no kickbacks as I, as I like to say. This is a papaya, very, very sweet. Very great for your digestion as well, and very great for the females. As you can tell, it looks like a uterus, and it's very good for that part of the body. Keeps you in balance. Very, very, very good for you. Uh, cactus pears. These are amazing. They're really deep red. They stain. They purify the blood. Oh, this is just this is just a blessing here to us because these grow in cactuses, and cactuses are grow in very dry places so these are like little gifts um, these are another fruit called cucumber it is a fruit the seeds are inside and um, it's very hydrating for you very very lovely and I'm probably gonna make a nice cucumber cactus pear juice sprinkle a little bit of lime juice in there as well just to brighten it back up okay I love these limes I had to get them they're not key limes but like I mean look at them right so, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Is that not Sprite or what? It looks like Sprite right there. Perfect. Don't drink Sprite, by the way. Sprite is like poison. Okay. And we got, last but not least, bananas. And these are the natural bananas, of course. Because why? Because these kind of bananas are no good. These ones are no good. Okay? They're so diluted. Um, if you if you eat one of these and then you eat one of these, um, you're gonna notice that you're just as full of, of these little guys because the nutrient content is higher. Um, so you don't need as much, and also the the flavor is compounded tenfold in these, or I should say, the flavor is diluted tenfold in these because this came from these and you might as well stick with these because these are highly electrical so i mean this is going to be mostly for my 
child, okay, she she eats all of this stuff. And my, my, my child, she eats all of this, no hesitation. Um, if there, there's if there's no seeds in these limes, I will not give it to her. I don't give her anything that it's supposed to have a seed, but doesn't have a seed. For example, I know that a sweet potato doesn't have a seed. I know that a blue potato doesn't have a seed, but I will lightly, I will gently put it in warm water, and I will I'll give it to her. But I know that limes are supposed to have seeds because it's a fruit, it comes from a tree. So if there's no, remember a seed. Sorry about that. A seed is fruit. I mean, a, a fruit has seeds. <laughs> okay, and when the fruit drops, um, it's depending on us and other life forms to carry it from the tree and further away from the tree and then spread its seeds there to keep on spreading around and, you know, make its own ver journey around the earth. The, 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 the plants live through us. We take it with us. We pick it and put it in our pocket and we... You know, they're, they're stationary. They can't move. And they, they experience movement through us. I mean, they must. We, um, we eat it and then we discard the seeds. Now, not all the time the seeds grow. But a lot of the times, um, what happens is the, 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 the fruit decays. And maybe fruit flies get to it, worms get to it. And then there are animals like chipmunks and squirrels that like to, to, to save and store these seeds. Or eat them right there, um, and then, and and a lot of times, as you know, chipmunks and squirrels they sometimes forget where they planted their their seeds and their nuts. So consequently, subsequently, I should say, it grows. Uh, it grows a tree, and um, but even if it doesn't grow into a new tree, the experience is still there. You know, even though you don't have a family in France, it's still nice to travel to France. So. Um, they live through us and we spread their knowledge and we spread their awareness about who we are and what the earth is and you know it's vicariously um, experiencing through us and it's 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 a great thing to be able to take a harvest from a, a stationary thing and and travel with it and it nourishes you and then you excrete this and then it goes back to the ground to nourish the soil or you know you, you you bite the top off spit it out then other things get to eat some ants you know what I mean so we if if we eat smart and if we're plant-based all the way then there's very little kickback to the planet negatively you know there's very little of, uh, there's no footprint because this is what we have been been it's what we're meant to do you know since the dawn of time since before time so, anyways, so that's just a typical shop for me when I'm out getting um, the tropical stuff for my kid and, and me and my girl. Just because, you know, you need those higher vibrating fruits. Because those higher vibrating fruits grow around the equator where they get a lot of the sunlight. And the sunlight is information. And when you eat that information, it gives you the information. And then you give the information to the world. So... It's all one big cycle, and animals don't need to be in that cycle. And um, really, um, it's a needless part of your diet, and it's very selfish. I can't say that word when talking about meat eaters. But basically, people just eat meat for the taste, and uh, they don't even eat it for that. Really, I think it's just addiction, because nobody really tries, nobody really eats meat raw. Like, nobody goes to the store, buys a steak, you know, from the fresh butcher, and then, you know, it's nice and soft, and then just opens it and, and, and eats it. You always put fruits and vegetables with it. You always sauce it up with tomatoes, onions, green onions, fennel seeds, all these, all these things, coriander seeds, all these, all these vegetables and vegetation just to taste, just to make your flesh taste better. So why not just take the flesh out of the picture? Live longer, live happier. Reduce your your footstep, your ecolo ecological footstep on this planet. Save the planet. Okay. All right. Well, that is it. It's masterpiece. And I'm saying, hey, eat to live. Like this. Taste the rainbow. <laughs>